Welcome YouTubers to another video. Today we got a pretty massive statue display update and we're adding some new statues for sale. Uh, so Bruce Lee did not last long in next to the TV. It really just is too much of a walking hazard and it doesn't fit. However, I've come up with a pretty good solution that solves my problems and uh, allows me to keep Bruce Lee and I think overall is just an improvement on the cave. So first thing you're going to notice Nun and Annabelle have been removed, and we did Dog Alien, which allows this setup to just be a lot cleaner. You know, you can properly space everything and view everything a lot better. View that from the sides, you can see all that beautiful detail. And now the entire wall is AVP, which is how I always intended it to. The only reason I put Annabelle and Nun there is due to space. So this looks cleaner and better, for sure. So I like this quite a bit. You know, and we have... The jungle hunter with you know the bust right here is like the centerpiece to the room you know and i think it works really well uh right here so i like that and it doesn't block too much but it does have great presence and so i don't know if i'll ever get berserker scar wolf you know we may just keep it like this and consider ourselves done with avp at this point I do technically have Berserker on PO, but the moment it's delayed, I will cancel and get my deposit back. So, we come over here, and boom. Check this out. So, yeah. I always had an inkling that Raptor Bust was the piece that needs to go here. And I was right. This is the best looking transition right here I've done by far you know perfect companion next to rotunda so we moved rotunda quite a bit forward uh to allow obviously him right there and then we put this along with that i put all the different you know livery here the signboard three props and then in the back just like a little you know tribute of the raptor a little one tenth so i really like this setup i think it's freaking amazing so, very happy with how that turned out. Come over here. This is where we've moved Nun and Annabelle, although there is a possibility I may even consider something slightly different. I might, you know, even consider just doing, you know, Chucky here and something else right there. So, this is kind of like all dolls and life size. Although, I'm trying to determine, you know, like Chucky and Tiffany don't need that bigger shelf, so it'd probably work better if we do a little switcheroo and gave Nun and Annabelle more space and then Chucky and Tiffany right there on the smaller shelf. I think that might work a little bit better. You know, I put her art paint, you know, it's basically directly behind her. It kind of works as a backdrop. And then as I walk to the side, I see the art print. So I think that does work. And this does work in general. <laughs> And we have a few different options. We can A, keep that as is, and just throw technically Red Sonia. We could buy Blade, we could buy Celine, buy PCS. Uh, you could do Prime One Ben Perella. There's a few different options we could do. I was even thinking if we move them over here, you could do Prime One Ben Perella or Prime One Red Sonia over there and just call it a day. Don't have to buy anything, don't have to sell anything. You know, let's say we do sell Red Sonia for 2K. That's pretty much how much Blade costs. And then if we buy Celine, that's another 2K. And waiting years to get it. Meaning, you know, keeping me in the statue thing. Although, if PCS Celine is freaking perfect, I definitely want to get it. Although, I will not PO it unless there's an exclusive that has a low edition size. And the problem is, a lot. sometimes our prototypes on the humans look really good, but then the production lacks quite a bit you know i'm a much bigger fan of pcs when it's like horror or the mk but when it comes to the human sculpts they always seem to lack like van damme rocky ah, they just don't impress me that much but they're great with creatures i think their blade's going to turn out fantastic but celine is a little iffy because their likeness you know if they don't know that paint app in the sculpt it's not going to look good so you know i'm tr trying to decide on that you know, but i technically could do Red Sonia, Prime One Vampirella. I could do Red Sonia and just Blade. Because even if PCS Celine looks amazing, there's zero chance it's going to be cooler than Red Sonia, in all honesty. <laughs> but, nevertheless. So, we come over here, and this is what we've done here. Uh, more or less, I returned that poster there. 
and we have the three one fifteenths. And then for now, I've just put blue here. But the plan is that will go back there. And when I'm still going to do a one fifteenth here, it's going to be the Giganotosaurus, who I do have on PO. You know, I think that will look better down here than he would uh, because he's bigger. And you know, both the Dilophosaurus and Raptors are in Jurassic World Dominion, so I think it'll work quite well. So I can still have space for that. So yeah, and you'll notice some DBZ here. Unfortunately, DBZ is what got hit today, folks. Uh, but it is just duplicates. So I've already sold that Vegeta Final Flash, but this is kind of the area for statues I'm selling until eventually I've sold everything I want to sell. Then it's just going to be the Hobbit there. But we need to sell this Goku and that Cell. I've already sold the third statue, which is KD Boo. Uh, so this Goku is for sale. Please note that that finger right there arrived broken. As you can see, I have to zoom in super bad. Once you're right there, you can't even see it. And the wrist also came broke. It is glued, but you can't really tell. So it's not a big deal. I also did sell the Super Saiyan 2 head. I wasn't a fan, so I decided to part ways with it. Other than that, there's no other issues. It does light up. And, you know, the porches are amazing. There's this one, which is the teeth grinning. And under there, I got the other portraits. So this is for sale at 700 USD shipped, which is a great price because this originally was 700 plus shipping from China, 200 bucks to ship it. Now this is a $900 statue, so you're getting 200 bucks off due to the damage of missing head with free shipping. And it also comes with an art print. Uh, we're also selling Infinity Studios Cell. Uh, this does have a light up feature. There's no issues, comes with a COA. It is massive, as you can see. Cut ships in two boxes. And we're selling this at $900 shipped. Uh, this cost me $1,200. So you're getting a $300 off with free shipping. So don't worry about KD Vegeta Final Flash. He's sold on payment plans. We'll see him here probably for another two months. But he's already, you know, I got my initial deposit, so we're good. So we come in here, and this is what I've come up with so far. There might be some changes. But we still do have a Goku and Vegeta Bust in 1 4 setup. Down low, we have Broly. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of all the open space above that bust. I have considered even, you know, boxing that bust up, removing it, selling it, or displaying it right there, and, you know, boxing up the Goku one until I want to switch, swap it out and doing another statue there. You know, because we have space there. Ideally, a big statue, and I kind of want it facing that way, actually. Now, I could even technically do KD Piccolo right there, because uh, he's a big boy, and this will give him plenty of height, and I just have him facing that direction. But yeah, we put, uh, first we raised this shelf so it is higher. Originally it was there, now it's there. So we added a solid, like, seven inches. So this is more or less, you know, I mean, Vegeta's going to be shorter than this in real life, but, you know, it's kind of like my angle, so I'm looking slightly down. So more or less it's more realistic to, you know, a real person's height. And then, you know, I have thought, should I do Prime 1 Vegeta over here? I, for now, I've done the KD Vegeta, because I do want to keep this one. You know, I thought about selling it, but I freaking love this statue. It's such a memorable scene for me. You know, the, the key blast, the evil look in his face, the base is sick. You know, I'm fine selling KD Goku, because I have, you know, Prime 1 doing the same pose, but I don't have this Vegeta, and I think it's very good. So, I do want to keep this one. You know, and then we come over here, and you got Prime, or... Prime 1 Goku next to KD Goku Bus. You also notice I put the head holder directly behind it. So it allows me to, you know, obviously see this, you know, right here so I can see it. And then as you come around, you actually get Goku. And he does look much better up high. He's leaning forward like he's flying about to shoot a Kamehameha wave. It looks incredible. And it's still next to KD Goku Bus, which does work good here. You know, when I do angle it this way, I can't fit another statue there because he's quite wide. You know, but when he's angled this way, it's only his depth, which is not as much with his fist coming out. You know, we threw the props right there, and I think it looks good. You know, and for the overall display, it works pretty darn good. Uh, we've already sold KD uh, Kid Boo, and we're going to do Ryu Kid Boo there. I do like that one more. It's doing the key blast, and I think it just goes there better. So we did 
Prime One Vegeta right here with his head holder more or less like in between the display. So I can still see, you know, that. You know, if I was to move KD Vegeta here, I don't think it'd look quite as right. You know, I know this is technically the wrong costume, but whatever. It still looks awesome. You know, we threw the DBZ logo there. And we did the Sume versus Boo right here. I do prefer this over here. However, when I did this display over here, it didn't allow me to do the Goku head holder behind him next to his bust. And these also look better over here. So I had to make a sacrifice one or the other. And those are the superior statues. I still get great angles on Sume Vegeta. It's just Boo, uh, I don't see quite as good. You know, I can see it decently. You know, if I really want to see it like perfect, I gotta sort of like walk over here to see it. Also, lighting is not quite as good due to the angle. Over there, it had better lighting, but it still does look great. You know, and everything else has remained the same, more or less. You know, that we're doing Ryu, Vegeta, Final, Final Flash there. You know, we decided to keep that one. But yeah, like I said, you know, we could do technically Piccolo right there. You know, because he has that extra height. And if we did that, that technically frees that up, you know, for a statue. Uh, so it's not a bad idea. Piccolo fought Broly that has tons of height, and I think a taller statue would do better there. I also was even thinking, you know, if I want to keep KD Frieza, because it works so good with that Goku, I could just throw Sume Frieza right there next to that. I think that would work actually extremely well, uh, just doing Sume Frieza right there, because it's a very tall statue as well as tall as tall as Broly, and so I think it would look fantastic there. But, yeah, that's more or less the DBZ, so unfortunately we had to sacrifice that ultimate Goku and Vegeta setup, but we still have an epic, you know, we're able to see the Prime 1 Goku and Vegeta both better. They're both still next to their head holders, and we still technically have a Goku and Vegeta bus setup. You know, as you can see. Uh, there may be some changes, but for right now I think this is the best solution I've come up with. You know, so we're going to stick with that. So this is one big reason uh, we did that is so we can do my God of War setup. So as you see, this is where we moved Mummy and Medusa, which works uh, quite well. Now, I know Kratos didn't fight a mummy, uh, but he fought creatures somewhat similar to it. And he fought creatures very similar to that Anubis. Uh, he fought Medusas and he fought Cyclopses. So I think it works very well. Uh, Theme-wise, color-wise, you know, overall it works good. Uh, of course, you put them in the middle, the weapon and the poster, although I'm kind of thinking of doing the poster right there and then getting a Kratos shield to wall mount on the left side because that's where we're going to throw the Kratos bust. You know, got a good amount of space there. You know, almost three feet, plenty of height and depth. So, yeah, three feet of space there. Kratos bust will be huge, probably go up to here. And then right there, those two spots is going to be the axe and then Mimir. We'll do axe in the middle and then Mimir. And then God of War 3 Kratos. I thought about doing it down low right there, but I was like, eh, that piece looks so much better up high. So we're still going to wall mount it because we actually have a lot of depth right here, more so than over there actually, because this shelf doesn't go completely to the wall. There's like literally 10 inches right there uh we can just wall mount a shelf right here do the blades of chaos the other version and then have kratos right there so i'm not wall mounting that shelf until i get the kratos we do some measurements make sure everything fits perfectly you know i'm gonna get him first before we do that but it's you know shipped in transit waiting for it but i think it'll look really good and i'm really thinking of getting a shield to go right there directly above the bust, I think that would look real good. But overall, I do think this turned out fantastic and the colors transition really well. You know, similar themed colors overall. And then DBZ, having the bright colors right here also works really good. So yeah, the, the whole moving DBZ helped me out in many ways if you think about it. One, uh, we got to do a God of War dedicated setup, which I've always I've been talking about for a while now. Two, we cleaned up AVP and moved none, you know, out of there. And we also got Raptor Bus next to Rotunda, which I've been wanting to do forever. You know, like truly next to it before it's kind of behind it, which isn't the same. So we fixed a lot of things in the main room 
and we actually have extra space. We got a God of War setup. We still technically have a Goku bust and Vegeta bust next to one fourth setup. And this plan also allows me to keep Bruce Lee. This is the best spot for Lee. Going in the corner, uh, hand knot in a walkway, more width space to you know display the Foo Dog and Golden Dragon, the poster. You know, and if you think about it, Bruce Lee was a huge inspiration on Mortal Kombat and Dragon Ball Z. He also has been a plethora of video games, as literally playing one other day on Super Nintendo. So I think it works also one third next to one third. And then if you'll notice, bust, three statues, bust. So, and they're both, you know, arms going forward bust. So I think it actually works really good. So we did Devil May Cry in the middle. You know, there are big statues, awesome statues, freaking love them. Love the game. It's a 10 out of 10 game for me. Series gone, but we're going to get the replacement new Siri to go there. And then next to Last of Us, Last of Us Dio, Uncharted on the glass shelf, and Tomb Raider is just going to be moved back down low. I just put her up high because I can enjoy her better for now. But that is kind of it though, folks. So as you can see, you know, I think this is the best way. Now, I was looking forward to doing the whole Kratos here and everything, but having my own dedicated God of War setup, considering it's one of my favorite games Kratos is my second favorite character of all time next to Vegeta. You know, I'd rank it Vegeta, Kratos, Scorpion. So, you know, I think it's necessary we have a God of War setup. You know, and then this allows me to keep Bruce Lee because I never wanted to sell it. It's always due to space. I didn't want to sell it because I freaking love it. And since I didn't have buyers, it's much easier to sell DBZ. You know, it's hard to sell the big ticket items because not nobody wants to just up and drop 4K on something. You know, but when you're selling something for 700 bucks, throw on a payment plan, put a few hundred bucks each paycheck, boom, it's paid off in like two months. So much easier to sell those. So, you know, we've already sold Kid Boo. He's actually going to be shipped off this Saturday. I just need to get his box. I know where it's at. It's in the attic. I saw it the other day. But yeah, so Kid Boo will be shipped uh, Saturday. And Ryu Boo is actually in QC, so we'll have him in a month anyways. So it's all good. I may even just throw Goku head holder right there and spread it out so the head holders are just four so it doesn't look empty. But yeah, I think this is for the best though, folks. It did, yes, ruin the DBZ, but we're getting rid of duplicates, which we truly did not need. We don't need, you know, two Goku Kamehamehas. We don't need two Vegeta Final Flashes. We just need one. And I'm real happy with the God of War setup, real happy that I can keep Bruce Lee, real happy with the Raptor bust. So now it's just a matter of selling Infinity Studio Cell, which is an amazing statue, by the way. It's huge, great detail, very anime accurate, awesome light up, great scene. You know, it's when he came back from exploding on Kai's planet and he tapped his head talking about his genes and the reason he survived. He's perfect cell. And Goku is an amazing statue, incredible concept, crazy, you know, waves, truly incredible. Uh, so hit me up on Facebook, Sean Sanders, Instagram, Flankster117, email me, Flankster117 at gmail.com. I do have the boxes ready. It's like the other day when I was getting the box for Sarah, I saw these boxes and I kind of just knew in my heart, I'm going to be selling these. Let's just get the boxes now. So I got them prepped and ready, actually. So the moment you... You buy, I can ship same day. Uh, so hit me up and let's get these to a new home. I might potentially have a buyer on Hulkbuster and they're local. So we might be getting rid of Hulkbuster. Uh, they only want Hulkbuster. Once they throw some money down, we're going to sell that Iron Man for just 500 bucks, which is probably the cheapest you'll ever see that statue considering. You know, it goes for eight fifty. So, yeah, as soon as I get money on him, he's going for sale for five hundred. Just want to get rid of him immediately, and then we're going to use that money to get Black Adam, because he's supposed to ship technically this month. I'm sure he'll get delayed, but Shazam, Black Adam. Anyways, folks, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of these updates. If you're interested in the statues, just reach out to me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.